Have you ever wondered if you have the true calling of a prophet or an apostle? If you notice any of the signs in this video in your life, you have an apostolic spirit. Watch and stay blessed. Anointed with fresh oil. So I saw, first of all, how I, the anointing I had was a teaching anointing. I began to teach to a certain level. And then I saw the prophetic anointing. I could teach and prophesy. I could teach and prophesy. I could teach and prophesy. And I was doing that faithfully, faithfully, faithfully. And then I began to teach. I began to prophesy. I began to see people get healed. All of these expressions came because there was a fresh anointing that was not existing before that has been released into the ministry giving other new areas of authority new areas of ability begin to flow in your ministry hallelujah a time now came then the evangelical now rested so i could preach on the crusade conveniently people are convicted they come to jesus and then uh, they receive miracles the kind of stuff that an evangelist will do and then when they finish doing that i can take them to a place and begin to disciple them begin to teach them because i have the ability to teach that anointing there it's very difficult for you to see someone that can finish on the crusade ground and come and he can disciple raise the people these are anointings and that's why the apostolic you are multi-gifted and that's the difference between the apostle he's multi-gifted it can be many things because he has many anointings and the reason is not because he he is better it's just that he has more responsibility so the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is sacrifice if you see someone that wants to be served he's not an apostle maybe he was but he's no longer sacrifice a genuine apostle can be released to a people and mighty men will rise if you don't see mighty men accompany a claim of apostleship it is not true you can take a man from nothing a man that people have written off and he begins to insist begins to teach him begins to teach him begins to love him begins to teach him begins to love him and after a, a short while he's, he's refined that man can be sent back to the same place where they despise him and people will on they'll be compelled to honor the apostolic spirit was the same kind of stuff that was upon david the davidic anointing when you hear me say the least among us will be as strong as david I, i'm not saying it as a cliche davidic people that came to meet david in the wilderness were discontented where they were in debt they were tired of life it was out of those disenchanted men that he raised warriors unique warriors if it is true that the apostolic spirit is there then mighty men will have to rise from that place and if there is no evidence of the rising of mighty men there is no apostleship because the proof of apostleship are people that have matured that have been raised and they were not castrated they were, their potentials were not cut off huh? you know there are places where your growth intimidates Ooh. Ooh. One of the signs of wonderful apostleship is the ability to be able to release people into their destiny. It's not everybody that will labor with you, but generally it's a kingdom that is going to profit. Right? So yeah, you can release men into their destiny. You know, we have released many people. And the joy is not that we did that, the joy is that they where they are, they are doing well. But I'm still their father. Do you know it took one month? For me to rest off the stress in my body one calendar month i just became normal three days ago because you don't know the sacrifice not just the sacrifice in terms of 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 for, of money that that one is also inclusive but the sacrifice in terms of the fact that you you your life is not yours Your life is what? Yesterday night, a lady accused me and said, So, 
is it god that is telling you not to attend to me <laughs> so I said, you, you have won I, after the service i will where they get my number from i don't know but people people force me to be their pastor i said i'm not your pastor these issues you can't please look for your pastor somebody is supposed to be in your life i am a voice in the body of christ but i'm not a pastor to you he said is it god that has said <laughs> ah! everybody wants to migrate where the anointing is active and that's why we need to we, we need to be we need to be many many anointed people oh to take the world oh we will keep raising people even at the age of 70 i will i will sit down i will sit down i will still be teaching and training people and leading prayer so that people will be raised people will know god there is an anointing that makes it work it's an ability it's an authority that comes from god i want to end with the scripture jesus christ i have to stop you i have to stop you i have to stop you we went to one nation to preach and when we came i wore the kind of this kind of clothing that evangelist philip is when i just i just appeared like that and then looked at me because everybody was dressing the way i'm dressing now they looked at me and they sized me up and if this man is here is worth anything at all and he knows what he carries he shouldn't appear like that <laughs> so i now saw that they were struggling to give me the mic if they want to give me the mic they will call somebody to to sing then they will make up their mind okay then they call oh, you have a, a a song you have okay <coughs> nobody else to thing to reduce the time so at the end of the day they, they gave me 35 minutes i just heard the mic like this i i, I said where, where is the man on the keyboard he, 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 I, I tried to find my direction i tried to find it and when i found it i, I opened a little window just a little and the hand of god came down five deaf people started here just it was a little window after those five deaf people one of them started crying because he was deaf for 12 years in that year started crying i didn't preach because there's, there's there's no need for that i checked that window again and the stream there was very strong and i released it when i released it it was remaining 15 minutes and i gave them the microphone back and sat down they begged i never accepted today has finished so the next day we came then somebody was speaking on the microphone with uh, red eyes there's no singing today suddenly an inspiration has come on him <laughs> it's not how you dress not how you use a horn <laughs> my horn shut thou exalt dearly beloved we believe you've been greatly blessed by this sermon. Do you want to download more sermons of your favorite preachers? Visit www.spiritnerds.org today. Reach us by email for more information and concerns at spiritnerds.org at gmail.com. God bless you.